गुड आफ्टरनून मैम एंड सर आई एम गोइंग टू प्रजेंट ऑक्लाइन ऑफ एलेक्सिस मैनेजमेंट एंड इट्स ए क्लिनिकल आउटकम आफ्टर कॉर्नियल बी स्टिंग देर इज नो फाइनेंशियल इंटरेस्ट के फर्स्ट केस इज फोर इयर्स ओल्ड फीमेल चाइल्ड रेफर टू आर आई ओ विद कंप्लेन ऑफ स्वेलिंग इंक्रीज लाइक रिमेशन पेन एंड नॉट एबल टू ओपन हर लेफ्ट आई फॉर पास फाइव डेज दिस एपिसोड हैड अकर आफ्टर सॉम ऑफ बी अटैक हर ऑल ओवर द बडी एंड आई स्टोल बाई हर पेरेंट्स पेशेंट इनिशियली विजिट टू लोकल ऑफ थर्मोलॉजिस बेयर इम्प्लीकर ट्रीटमेंट विथ रोरल एन एस आई डी एंड एंटी हिस्टामिक ड्रग्स बेयर गिवेन एंड रेफर फॉर द फर्दर मैनेजमेंट ऑन एग्जामिनेशन ग्रॉस एग्जामिनेशन वी फाउंड आर देर इज ए माइल्ड पेडियोरबल इडिमा विच चाइल्ड वॉज एनेबल टू ओपन हर लेफ्ट आई आफ्टर जेंटल लिट ओपनिंग एंड टॉर्च लाइट एग्जामिनेशन अपर एंड लोअर आई विल इट वेरी इडमेटस डिफ्यूज लैक रिमेशन कंजक्टिवल इक्यूमोसिस एंड कॉर्नियल इडिमा वॉज पर्जेंट इन हर लेफ्ट आई सी टाइम बाय माइक्रोस्कोपी वैल्यूएशन रिविल फॉरन बॉडी मे बी बी स्टिंगर इम्बाइडेड इन टू द डीप स्टोम ऑफ द कॉर्निया टेम्पररी एट थ्री ओ क्लॉक पोजिशन टू मिलीमीटर फ्रॉम द लिम्बस इन हर लेफ्ट आई देर वॉज इनफिल्ट्रेशन एराउंड द बी स्टिंग एंड जेनलाइज कॉर्नियल इडिमा एट दिस मे बी ड्यू टू टॉक्सिक इम्यूनोजेनिक रिस्पॉन्स आफ्टर एंटीयर चैम्बर डिटेल कुड नॉट एप्रिसिएटेड एंटीयर चैम्बर देव सीम्स टू बी नॉर्मल पीपल फार्मोकोलॉजिकली डायलेटेड एंड लेंस वॉज क्लियर यू एच जी बी स्कैन वॉज डन बट बी शोज विद इन नॉर्मल लिमिट बट एंटीयर सेगमेंट ओ सी टी शोर कॉर्नियल इडिमा which is with diffuse bulle was present uh, uh, patient was taken under general anesthesia for uh, examination and uh, foreign body removal uh, intraoperative be noted two foreign body was there one was present in the cornea and uh, one is uh, stuck in the anterior chamber with iris both uh, 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 for, uh, be sting was removed and uh, because of this uh, anaphylaxis uh, iris become heterochromedia iris like condition and cornea was fully edematous due to anaphylaxis so both foreign body was removed and sent for the hpe and we saw the uh, b stinger post op oral steroid 1 mg per kg body weight was started antihistamine was continued topical antibiotic lubricating and cyclopegic eye drops was continued uh, one big lateral stomal edema resolved completely although small opacity in the site of the b sting was remained child was able to open her eye comparatively uh, comparatively but vision improved only up to 636 and tsm was quiet patient was uh, registered for the optical pk Case two, 46 year old male referred to the dimness of vision in his left eye with history of honey bee attack, and he's uh, almost three months back after bee sting was uh, removed and medical management was done. All symptoms were subsided, but vision didn't improve significantly. So patient was referred for further management, and uh, we here be uh, on examination we found out vision was 660 with uh, slit lens evaluation, so corneal opacity, superior no neovascularization, and lens was cataractous. Other finding in the anterior chamber was within normal limit. Patient planned for the optical PK and uh, after with uh, after that. Fecal emulsification and uh, uh, PCI also. This is the pre-op picture, and after uh, optical PK, post-op picture is there, sir. So patient get vision, uh, uh, good uh, quality of vision. So my discussion is corneal bee sting have been rarely described in the literature. That can lead to the uh, potentially devastating complication like ocular anaphylaxis, including keratitis, corneal opacity, bullous keratopathy, uveitis, iris atrophy, secondary glaucoma, cataract, optic neuritis, and even thysis bulbae. Treatment is usually limited to minimizing the toxic immunologic response. However, due to the rarity of the injury, there is no established clinical guidelines and management. Early surgical intervention, which includes removal of the bee sting and high dose of steroid, along with the topical and uh, antibiotic steroid and cyclopegic, may be the main uh, stay of the treatment. Prompt and early uh, intervention with removal of bee sting, oral steroid is must. Almost all patients need keratoplasty surgery due to severe inflammation and further corneal opacity. Thank you. Your, your, your presentation as well. Okay. Uh, thanks for bringing up uh, this uh, wonderful thing uh, in this meeting. Uh, I do agree. Insect has uh, can produce dermal and uh, ocular surface inflammations. Yes, sir. But mostly the teaching, mostly they settle with steroids. Yes. Okay. And uh, your statement of uh, they invariably need keratoplasty is, I think. It it is, my uh, experience, we find out, sir. They are Maybe in your yeah. case series, it required. Yes, sir. But mostly ophthalmia uh, nodosum yes, and uh, insect hairs. They don't need uh, uh, keratoplasty, and generally they cause encapsulation around the setae or the sting uh, or the hair, yes, sir. and they settle. And they can also migrate internally. Interesting. Some of the species can migrate. And uh, one another observation, maybe uh, the term anaphylaxis yes, sir. referred to a generalized condition yes, sir. of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. Maybe it's a misnomer in your case. Yes, sir. 
um, I, I'm not challenging your term, sorry, terminology, sorry, sorry, but, yes, sir, but maybe uh, I'm I do agree with you, sir. But okay. uh, my case was ocular anaphylaxis, means uh, mm. involvement of eye, my topic was there, yeah. sir. It, it's a hypersensitivity, yes, no sir. doubt. Yeah. But is that type 1 IgE mediated? We don't know. Oh. Yes, sir. Uh, maybe I'm a snammer. Thank you, sir. Uh, how was the endothelium there? This Corneal edema was there, sir. Stoma edema was there significant. Is it temporary so or permanent? Permanent edema was there? No, after uh, removal and uh, uh, steroid uh, edema was subsided and ASOSTB uh, saw that uh, there was a reduce of the edema, but opacity was there, sir. Okay, so what was the diameter of opacity? Because we, we believe that it's a merely a small sting, so opacity should be very small, but in your case it is quite big. So yes, is sir. there any melting of stoma over there? It was the not. It is so big because I think. Yes, sir. This picture is a like first patient who had very full uh, means uh, limbal to limbal edema was there in this picture with uh, even though only one foreign body was here. But uh, due to this uh, reaction, full corneal edema was there and uh, epithelium loss was there, sir. Thank you, sir.